What is up? What is up? What is up? It's your boy Jay, and I'm back with another video. So today I have another Jubilee video. Um, what I'm doing today is six Kanye fans versus one hater. Now, I'm a Kanye fan, sort of, kind of, myself. So, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be a good test for me to see if, like, if I can pick out the people versus the not, the not person. And I'm going to try not to be too skin tone, you know what I'm saying? Like, like judgmental on here, you know what I'm saying? So if there's like five white or five black dudes, one white dude, I, I can't just, hey, it's, it's that, it's that brother over there. You feel me? So I'm going to try to keep it. I'm going to try to keep it, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, try to keep it pretty much like even keel and whatnot. And then we are going to be able to see what it is. So without further ado, let's hop into the video and uh yeah let's hop into the video what if we all just sing at the same time yeah, yeah. okay oh, oh, i'm living right, in the 21st century, century. Doing, doing something mean to and doing nothing better than everyone has seen do it's great for the haters got a nice ring to it I guess every superhero meet his theme music. One no no one man said have all that power. Clock's ticking, I just count the hours. Stop tripping. I'm a Kanye fan. I'm a I'm be real with y'all for a hot second. Now look, I ain't heard the song in a long time, so I had to I had to motherfucking rerun rerun the clock like. Uh-oh. Nigga, you the fake. You the phony in this bitch. You feel me? But hey, hey, like I got it. I got it. I might have slipped up on a word or two, but I got it. But you seen, you seen, dude might be the motherfucking hater in this bitch because he was ring to it. Like, uh-uh, bro. You done. You out of here. I'm a Kanye fan. I'm a Kanye fan 100%. Do you think Kanye would have been a liar? If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? We just all introduce ourselves, say our favorite song. I'm Susie, favorite song is Lost in the World. My name is Jay Brewers, and my favorite song is Bitter Sweet Poetry from Graduation. You see that right there? Okay, okay, okay. My name is Alex, my favorite song is Amazing. My name is Chase, and my favorite song is Bound To. My name is Carrie, and my favorite song is Never Let Me Down. My name is Ty, and my favorite song is Famous. My name is Jack, and my favorite song is St. Pablo. What's everyone's favorite album, though? I wear it on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> right here. That's my beautiful bad. Dark Twisted Fantasy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my favorite song. Life of Pablo for me. That's good. I'll go with you. Yeah, Life of Pablo. When Ty said his favorite song, Jack was like, oh, same. And I was like, ah, oh, that's kind of that's kind of soft. Any of you guys seen him in concert? Unfortunately. Uh, twice. Life of Pablo. Life of Pablo. Where did you guys really? see him at? Seattle. Seattle. When, Seattle. when he Wait. went off on uh, yes, Jay-Z. Yes, yes, yes. Jay-Z, call me, bro. You still can't call me. Bro, we were chanting. Okay. We were like, oh, oh, oh. I that's the reason why I said I'm kind of like, like I'm a Kanye fan, but like, yo, you ever know how it feels to go to bat for somebody, like go to bat for somebody, and then like the next day they say something that you just can't, like what the fuck I'm gonna do with this, bro? You feel me? Like, like, bro, no, you gotta think about it, bro. This is just all gimmicks to get you to get you to do this. You know what I'm saying? Kanye really a jink. Then this nigga come out and say some wild shit that you just like, bro. I don't know, bro. You might have been right. Like that's how Kanye is for me. Like, like more so his old his older music and stuff. Like graduation, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like just you know all all the all the the Kanye classics and shit like that. You know those are the ones that I really rock with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like a couple of his new songs and shit. Like he had one, uh, what the fuck was we, uh, off the grid? I liked it that. Um, I liked it maybe that and another song off of Donda. But it's hit and miss for me at this point. And I'm having a brain brain fart off of a lot of his stuff since I'm like being thrown into it right now by myself. But um, if y'all see red on my fingertips, I've been eating some. Look. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah. So I just ain't got red hands. But no, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if I had to guess right now, man, the dude with the the dude with the graduation, the he got he got the graduation thing on his arm. Like, bro, did you really go that far to to trick Jubilee to say, like, yeah, like, I hate Kanye, but I'm going to get the tattoo on my arm so that people don't question me? Or it could possibly it could possibly be that 
he liked it, Kanye, but don't like the new Kanye, so now you hate him. You see, that's the thing. Like, people can be on here, and that's, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all this motherfucker. It might not be a all-time Kanye hater. Like, a motherfucker that's just like, I've hate Kanye since day one. They might have rocked with him at some point in time, so therefore they had favors and say, I could have went to that concert or this concert. And then say, but when he did this is when I, I, I cut ties with Kanye. Uh, Kanye. Cut ties with Kanye. Cut ties with Kanye. You feel me? That's what it could be. So just because a nigga might know a song or know the lyrics or just because a nigga forget the lyrics don't mean that they are the hater or the Kanye fan. You feel me? So, yeah. My dad was doing security at the time, oh. and so he was letting me go under the stage. Oh, no like, way. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. a twat. I saw him at the, the Meadows Music Festival where he left for the Kim Kardashian. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. There's a family emergency. I have to stop the show. That was like Whoa. 40 minutes of just heaven, and then it was like, wow, the money is gone. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that right there could be the reason why niggas like, well, you know, I did love Kanye, but then he screwed me and I didn't get that $500 back for that ticket of the front row seats I had. You feel me? So after that, I stopped fucking with him. My theory continues. Why did you rob me more than you've already robbed me? But you had the experience. Everybody else just watched it on TMZ. Yeah, it was part of it, keeping up with the Kardashians. Yeah. Pretty cool. I voted for Alex just because she was a little bit more on the quiet side the first round and didn't really get involved, but I guess neither did I, so I can't really say much. She was a little bit too enthusiastic for me, which made me suspect that maybe she has something to hide. She stood out because she didn't stand out. Uh, good luck, guys. I only got to say like four words on camera. And I think I just said St. Pablo in my name and then it was- You got to miss <laughs> He blew his big shot. Like, you know, throughout just being a Kanye fan, like what, no, like, what is your moment? Yeah. I think everyone thinks that he means exactly what he says, but I think that he just has a really difficult time articulating himself. There would be no Travis Scott. Okay. See, what she just said in like two minutes took me like five minutes, well not two minutes, like two seconds took me like five minutes to say. Like, that's the reason why, like, Kanye be so iffy with me. Like, I still rock with his music. I still believe he's a genius when it comes to music and shit like that. Like, not a genius, like, in the terms of, like, like what people generally, like, Einstein or some shit, like. But, like, when it comes to music, that nigga, he know his music. But, like, yeah, like, he find, he, once you, once you in the, the limelight like, for so long, I feel like that it's, a, it's hard to express yourself, especially when you got, this problem, that problem, that problem, and this problem, it's just like all them different things hitting at once. And then a motherfucker wants you to say something on the topic they want you to talk about. Then you say the wrong thing, and now you looking like an asshole. Or, or a jackass, or a dummy. You know? So, I like the way she said that. There would be none of these, none like, of these. influential people without him, so it's, like, hard to, like, do away with him, even, like, when he does, like, problematic things. I'm just gonna let him do what he does. I'm gonna mind my own business. I separate him from fashion and music. To his little politics and stuff. He's having like yeah. a really human journey through oh, everything, yeah. especially yeah. since he's being so vocal about what he's going through with like being bipolar. I don't think that's easy. I do admire him for like trying to articulate it in the way that he does, not in the way that society says, oh, this is how you're supposed to behave. What was like everyone's pivotal moment that they knew they were a Kanye West fan? I grew up listening to Kanye West. It was like my mom would put it on when we clean and stuff. What would she put on? Like what? Oh, college dropout, like a yeah. champion. Come on, we know. Yeah, similar experience. Uh, my mom put me on Kanye. We when Tower Records was around. My family hates this you, man. You guys remember Tower Records? The exact reason why he hate him too. Again, and she picked up late registration. Yeah, because he might be. Like, no. I was a kid. A little bit know. black, a little bit blacker than you like. I don't know. I'm just playing. Man. <laughs> uh, her responses seem to like frame around just old said, Kanye, not so much new Kanye. My pivotal moment that kind of stuck with me was I was watching like MTV music videos and just saw this guy mumbling through the wire like he said he kind of grew up to through the wire through the limit through the wire y'all get it that motherfucker like that's probably one of my favorite kanye songs you know what i'm saying like because it's just like especially if you haven't watched his documentary like like i watched his documentary and like when he made that beat like you like when he when he made that 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 song 
you felt it then. You feel me? But after you go back and you watch the actual, like, the behind the scenes on, like, him showing it to Pharrell and, like, it's like, yo, like, it it hits you harder than it did when you first heard it the first time. You feel me? And I was a, I was a youngin' when I first heard it the first time, so it hit me then. But when I seen, like, the shit he was going through, like, the, you not, they not letting you in, you feel me, you know? You go in here playing all your music and shit, motherfuckers. It's basically like, oh, yeah, keep to the beats, my nigga. Then you go out here and you finally are about to break through. And then you have a car accident. And motherfuckers is telling you, like, nah, nah, nigga, you, you, you need to sit down for a while. And then on top of that, your label telling you, you know what I'm saying, they keep on pushing back your shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, then you heard them push that motherfucker. And for real, was just like, yo. Like, and when a nigga, like, for real, is like, yo, you feel me? It, it, it mean it mean a lot more, but I can ramble all day. My bad, y'all. Because every time you drop something, you just kind of like you know we're there with him throughout all the journey. And not to be mean, but she seemed very plain, very Pax on Kanye fan. I didn't really care about music in general until like senior year of high school. And I just remember like the life of Pablo was just about to drop, and I was just like so curious about it because I was reading the Wikipedia page about how it was like three Pablos. It was Escobar. Picasso. Yeah, yeah, Picasso. I don't know. It's just such a different environment. He said, like, the three Pablos, and then he didn't know the third Pablo. I was like, that's really sus. Shoot, my cousin put me up. They put the motherfucker among us. They put the among sus behind his edge. I said, you feel me? I watch a lot of people play among us, and I play myself from time to time. So it was just like, he's hella sus. Like, I know it's played out and shit, and the kids are using it all up now, but... Yeah, that was that was nice. I liked that one. Kanye when I was like younger mm -hmm. and then that's when I started to like really develop my like love for Kanye. Not saying that I'm a stan. I don't I know, man. You have a tattoo of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just did that for the stan. No, 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 no. <laughs> I ain't never getting out. Can we see the angels? Are yeah, we allowed to? All right, this is my last time. I'm, I know we barely get through the video, but my favorite rapper of all time is J. Cole. Like, J. Cole is my, my favorite artist of all time. I love his music and stuff like that, but I would never go get, like, Cold World tattooed on my arm or, like, the little Dreamville or, like, the little, the uh, what was it, um on the the Born Center album, the little little thing with the the horns and then the, the, the what was it, the halo and shit like that that he had on there. I'm not, no, like, I'm not going to go get, especially another nigga's shit tattooed on me. You know what I'm saying? It, it kind of gets into like idolatry and shit like that. And I don't believe in that. You feel me? So like I fuck with your music heavy and shit like that. If we met, have a cool little conversation. But you know what I'm saying? Like not that deep. Not that deep for me. Do you, but not that deep for me. was the most involved in my personal opinion. Carrie didn't really give me like a reassurance that she was a true Kanye fan. Carrie was good. I think she was playing a tactic of introducing a question, but then observing. Uh, Carrie, yes, I wasn't beer. super happy. I think I was really just listening and observing and maybe they took that as a sign of some type of concealment. If everyone feels confident that you've already caught the mole, you can end the game now. But if the majority has doubt, the game will continue. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. That's majority. Starting now, for every time all of you vote out someone that is not the mole, the total prize money will be reduced. Oh, Bro, what? In this they round, to say some you will do the song and finish each other's lyrics one by one. Damn. Are we allowed to say the curse words in this song? Oh, yeah, was... That's what I was like. Oh, shit. That nigga is not black. We, n we might have a conundrum here. You feel me? We might have a little something, something. You feel me? Um, Because it's like, you know, what that nigga, you know, got a song where he... N word out there, nigga. You feel me? And he, yeah, what'd you say, bro? Say the words. He like, do I say it or do, 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 I don't know, guys. Do it. Do, 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 can I say it now? Like I've been waiting my whole life to be able to say it. Like, can I say it? Say it, bro. And then like he said, and everybody beat his ass. <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all, man. I'm fucking with y'all, sorta. But 
at the same point in time, like it, it might, and this might be a little, they want to get around and she just brought it up. You can say whatever you want. You black, you feel me? But, but, but oh boy, he, he might have a, you see him look, I don't know guys. Ah, he says nigga before, you know, I, I don't know if I can say that. You feel me? But no. I was going to do it regardless. Okay. <laughs> this is a pretty notable song on the album. All right, so. Hurts is not the end. Line. Now, if I f this model and she just bleached her hole, and I'm going to get bleach on my t-shirt. And I'm going to think I'm an asshole. <laughs> and I'm going to I was fine when I let her. We was hot and tried back up. She get under your skin if you let her. I don't want to talk look about <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Bruh. I met this girl when I was three years old. Nope. I don't, this is and a, what I love most, she got uh, so much song. She's like, excuse me, little okay. I, mean, no, I don't know me, but okay. Uh, okay, okay. Honestly, I got really nervous and then I just forgot completely everything. I'm having so the same thing happen right like, now. Yeah, uh, like oh, there is. What about a more miscellaneous song from my album? Made it sound all wacky. Twisted, 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 when a real N-word pulls you down, what are you supposed to do? Drown. This man right here. <laughs> I don't know where I don't know where we're going from there. We all do power. Alex chose power for us to kind of bounce mm -hmm. back and forth, which mm -hmm. that's like a very popular mm -hmm. song. Like, this could be one that kind of everybody can show up to. Oh, okay, wait, what if we all just sing at the same time? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, I'm living in the twenty first century. Doing something mean to it, doing nothing but it. Everyone is seen, doing screen for the haters. Got a nice ring to it. Jay Bruce, he kind of threw me for a loop just because he couldn't really like. But he got tattoos and shit, but he also could be the person that was a Kanye fan. I guess every superhero has me, you know, no one man should have all that power. The clock's ticking, I just count the hours. Stop tripping, I'm tripping off the power. To them, fuck that. The world's ours. In the street, in the Detour on the investigation. It was like if Scooby Doo had a musical episode. Damn. We have a tie. It's a five way tie. What? <laughs> One minute, try to figure out who the mole is. We all love him, but let's be a little critical. Um, Worst thing he's ever said. Slavery was a choice. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, another one that he said was he went on air for the Red Cross thing for Hurricane Katrina said, that's George Bush hates black people. That's pretty he doesn't care about black people. It's her. It's her. That's one of the best things that he ever said because that nigga did not. He didn't. And I don't care what nobody say. Like, yo, like, I wouldn't want to live in any other country but America, but I keep it up. But you feel me? Like, hey, man, like, he a rich and powerful white white man. You feel me? Niggas was dying, drowning and shit like that. And ain't, ain't, ain't shit happen. So by the choices he made, shit happened. And that's all I'm saying. Like, yo, like, but for her to, now I'm, I'm kind of sus on her for, for another thing. Yeah, I said it's sus. I'm kind of sus on her because it's like, it's like, first off, are you even down with the black people? You feel me? Like, if you're not down with the black people, how can you be down with Kanye? Some would say, you know, kind of, kind of the, the worst end of the black people because he's rich and powerful or whatever. And he's, and he say outlandish shit sometimes. So it's like, hey, like, what you talking about? This is why I need to be on the show. So I can, like, what, like, what you mean by that? You know, you know the man? So how you know he love black people? Huh? Yeah. He was at the concert and the guy was in the wheelchair that one was I can't oh, say yeah. the one you already said. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, the red hat thing, yeah, him Trump running for president one, yeah. under like Republican yeah. like we, we can really yeah. like do it, but yeah. Uh I mean that houseway stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he had that interview where he was like, you know, oh, sweet, sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it with yourself. Pow, like, sway, pow, sway. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad, that was that bad, bad though. I know. I can't really think of anything uh, bad, though. You can't? No, just because no. I'm, <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm like, okay, man. I can't. I can't keep defending you in these streets. <laughs> Charismatic, and he like came in like so. I'd have threw both under the bus too. Sneakers, so I was like, okay, that's pretty sus. 
I love you guys. <laughs> you know to you. To be honest, I don't. I don't really know why they eliminated me. I do. <laughs> but I did say I wasn't gonna be going that way at the beginning of this video. But I do know why they eliminated your ass, brother. Hey, my nigga, it's it's the 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 writing's on the wall with this bitch, bro. You might not have had the worst answers, bro, but you was lacking something. You feel me? Lacking something, maybe a little bit of soul, mm -hmm. brother. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. Okay, the game will end now. If the lights turn green, that, that means you have here. voted out the mole and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you <laughs> lose. It's Tattoos. I'm surprised. I thought we got them all out. Will the fake Kanye fan is one of them two down at the end? And reveal yourself one of them two. Three, two, one. Damn! Damn. I was surprised only because we had all sung together. I guess at the end of the day, the bag talks and. Now let's see if what I was saying was true. Like if it was. Like she used to be a Kanye fan at a certain point, and then like she grew out of it. Broke my heart, bro. It was right in front of us the whole time. I know. Nike's on. That should be like kind of a dead giveaway because like Kanye's so against like Nike and whatnot. That's like going into Costco with like a Sam's Club card. I am no longer a Kanye fan. I believe that when you have a successful platform and influence, it's your responsibility to be mindful of your actions and what it is that you're saying. So I could no longer be a fan because of that. It makes sense. You can go from me. I told you motherfuckers what it was. I know what Jubilee like the does. You feel me? Hey, I told y'all. I got it right. Now, granted, I didn't get it right, right? But I got the premise right, you feel me? The underlying, the, you know, that shit that's underneath bubbling at the surface, you feel me? I got that shit right. A Kanye lover to a hater really quick because of how volatile his personality is. I'm of black creative and to see a black creative who deals with mental health issues reach this level of prominence and success will keep me rooted as a Kanye fan. And I feel like seeing him in that context is what a real fan of him is and of his legacy and his persona. Well, we want to thank you all for participating and give you all a gift. Cool. These are Ottawa now bags. We're all winners today. Yeah. 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 Good job, Alex. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Bitch, I don't want no bag. Give me the bag. You feel me? Secure me the, the funds that's in the bag. Give me the bag. You feel me? Don't give me no bag. Damn. We're going to be so nice today. We just brought Kanye in. And he wants to give each and every one of you motherfuckers a million dollars. Like, give me some shit like that. You feel me? Some shit I can walk home with. That bag will be on the side of the road before I am. You feel me? Be, side of the, be on the side of the road before I hit the road. Man, I don't want no fucking... I went out to your bag. Fuck that. I need some money, some cash, some moolah, some green. But anyways, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, man, I had a good, I had a good time with this one. And my bad if I talk too much for y'all, but I, I've, I've been getting some feedback, and people do like when you're interactive and stuff. So I think there's a happy medium. Like if there's a good part going on, like they want to watch it all the way through and whatnot. But either way it goes, um, this is Jay. Thanks. Um, Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.